everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod reveal with me. And today, today, we're basically not looking just at one mod, we're uh, looking at two mods. We've got the Avatar mods, which I haven't looked at in forever. I went and checked, I literally have not looked at this thing since like 2020, which I was like, oh wow, that's the same, because oh wow, it's got a bunch of updates since then. A lot of it's bug fix stuff. But even still, I it, it did a big massive update last time I played it, and then I didn't, it, it had issues and stuff and stuff, so I wanted to take a look at it. And the other one is the Avatar add-on mod, which added a bunch of really cool stuff to flesh out the Avatar mod itself. So the Avatar mod out of the iceberg is the really fun mod for 1.2, where you get to master the elements and use various techniques and blah, 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 from... Well, it's not, even, it's not even just the base elements, you get sub-bending as well. So, like, there's, there's a whole bunch of things you can learn. And how that journey goes is by using scrolls to learn all the stuff, which um, I love how they changed the images to this, because these scrolls used to be way more basic, they used to look like the top scrolls, but different coloured, then they've all got their unique designs based on where they're from. But uh, before we jump to that, I guess we'll take a look at the, the buttons really quick, because controls, boom, ba I've got a section here for the avatar stuff, there it is. So, base keys, we would have O for co uh, confirmed bison transfer, because there are flying bisons in this, and they are adorable. We've got cycle bending left and right. That only really matters if you're the avatar, or if you have sub bending. There is the skill menu, which is a very important one that we can click open. We'll get switch path, uh, which... Okay, uh, we'll get we'll figure that one out in a second. Uh, we're gonna use bending, which is the L menu button. I never use, so I'm gonna switch that to F, because nah. But right, so if we click K, now I think it used to be a case when you started this mod, was basically you didn't get given an element. You were basically able to freely pick whatever element you want, you would get some scrolls, you get three of a scroll, and that would unlock your bending. In this case now, you start and you pretty much get given an element when you first join. In my case, I first joined and I've been given the water element. And I, yeah, you get this screen here, where it just gets some lovely little images of you doing some water bending. Now, something it did throw me off is I used to use my mouse wheel, and I would scroll, and that would let me go over to the other pictures. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling rapidly right now, and we're not moving. And that confused me, because I'm like, wait, I played the old version of this, and that used to work. And boom, boom, And like, it is still working, occasionally. What's the issue? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, if you just click uh, the direction buttons for walking, that, 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 if you just keep clicking it, it'll, it'll move that way, so. <laughs> yeah, that was, that threw me off for a second. I was so confused. But yeah, you've got a lovely water technique. So let's say we want to learn some water techniques. Let's say we want us to learn the almighty water flow control technique. How would you start? Quite simply, yeah, water is most essential ability. Use a bubble of water to attack, defend, or just transport water. We need a scroll to get started, essentially. So at this point, we're going to need a tier 1 scroll. As it says right here, tier 1. As for how scrolls work, some of them are craftable. Or they're all craftable now. Are they all craftable now? They all appear to be craftable now. Huzzah. So, even the universal ones. Hello. Except the universal ones require bottle of the channing, which isn't really an item you can just get a hold of. You can't create those. That's, so uh... See? Can you find them in loot drops? In, like, in certain very particular chests? I can't remember in this version if that is a thing. Or if that's a modded thing. But anyway, get all the ball in China, you can create universal ones. Universal ones can substitute in for anything. But in our case right now, we want to go for war. But yeah, we've got air, or fire, and water. And they all go up to tier 7, the highest tier. In order to create higher tier skills, so like, say we wanted to create war. We're going to have to go and get prismatic shards. We're going to have to get more bottles of enchanting. There must be a way to get those. <laughs> there almost certainly must be a way to get those. Actually, I can think of probably a way to get those. But okay, we'll go over that in a second. All of that, yeah, okay. It, there's no crafting recipe for them. Maybe you might have for that if you really want to make things easier. Uh, but other than that, there are also, you can kill particular enemies, and they can drop water scrolls. So even if you don't craft them, you can still get them, just by defeating very particular water-based enemies. So, in this case, I guess killing the... The Guardians? They're called Guardians, right? I can't remember. The... Are they called... Are they called Guardians? Yeah, 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 they're called Guardians. My brain, I was doubting it there for a second. Yeah, here's a dumb fish. Killing these things, perhaps. Maybe, maybe they would drop... So water skills, perhaps. I know uh, killing things like bats, for example, could get you... I was about to say earth skills there. I think it's earth, or maybe it's wind. Hold on, it might be wind. Kill killing zombies used to give you earth. I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to remember entirely because it's very little, little, but... Yeah, if you kill particular aquatic-based creatures, we should be able to get some water skills as drops from them. Oh, there we go. We're just killing squids casually, and there we go. You just dropped a water scroll. So... But I do, point proving. Basically, just go around and kill things, and as you're killing stuff, you'll just randomly collect scrolls. That's the, the, the more basic era of Avatar. Or, yeah, if you can get a hold of bottles of chatting, you can craft them, cool. You want to get higher tier scrolls, combine lower tier scrolls. So, yeah, two level ones to create a uh, level two, two level twos to create a level three, and so on, so on, so on, up until tier seven, 
Cool. Okay, in that case, though, we need the water scroll. So we can take the water scroll. Very nice looking thing. We can right click it. There we go. It'll take us into this menu automatically, or you can just click K. Ah, uh, I didn't go into here. Okay, we want to learn this move. So. Oh, wait a second. I'm a fool! No, the first move you've already got unlocked. We've already got flow. No, hold on. Water whip. No, it also says I have that as well. Wait, what? No. Do, what? No. That one. Okay, apparently the first two moves are unlocked. I'd forgotten that then. Okay. Excellent. Even better then. We've got two moves already unlocked. All right, let's say we want to do wave then. There we go. So, see can we scroll in there? And boom, ba -dum, you click to unlock. In this case, though, this isn't going to work because now we need a tier two. Because this is a tier two move. The, uh, okay, so I guess you just start with your tier 1 moves, then. Nerf, do you need tier 1 scrolls for, then? Okay, sure. Grab that tier 2 scroll, then, really quick. Boom, ba -dum. And, yeah, let's say tidal wave. That's getting in the way, God damn it. Okay, put that in a better part of my inventory, because... Yeah, the, the thing's a bit weird for where your inventory goes. I don't know why it moves your inventory so far to the side. You can't access the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then you want to get your scroll. There we go. Uh, click that. Click that. It's still unlocked. Boom, boom. We now have flow. So summon a way of water to push any uh, nearby enemies away. Cool. We have the option of we can either uh, set a key to use the move. So for example, I can set it to be on V. And at this point, if I click V, it will now use that move. The other alternative is we can use one of the other buttons we saw before, aka the one I believe I bound to F, aka use bending. So if I cl if I click breath F, it will uh, pop up this menu. You have to hold it in order to. Look at it, it makes splashy sounds, that's nice. Uh, also to note, when I'm holding it, I cannot move my uh, mouse, obviously, to look in our directions. So basically, I'm kind of stuck just using my uh, analog, like my, my direction buttons to like, walk around, but I can turn. <laughs> so there's that. But um, yeah, with this though, we can select over any move that we've already, currently already got. I'm technically in creative mode, so I can technically use any of them. But yeah, let's say we want, do want to take flow control. There we go, let's take flow control. And then we've just created a wee blob of water. Nice. The water arc that lets create a wee watery arc around us. And yeah, so this is something that's changed. They uh, added new effects in for all this stuff. And this is something that's different from the version I played. Because I, I could have sworn the first time I played this update, which was like three years ago before a bunch of other updates happened, I'm pretty sure they just didn't have water in. They had earth, fire, and wind, but they just didn't include water. Which I found kind of funny, because it's like, if you were going to take one of the elements out, why would you not just take wind down? <laughs> just to go with the avatar lore and stuff. Also, I think I've got water skate currently turned on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is the water skate technique. It lets you run on water. You get this little water effect. I love the effects for this. I love the updated effects. I say, okay, water is even my favorite ones. Because there's, there's even better ones, in my opinion. Some of the higher up uh, abilities and boom ba -dum. So I got okay, water blast. Can't use water while skating. I'm not. I'm not currently skating. I. Okay. Basically, I was trying. It, it's always trying to like you know use a move while skating. Basically, I just mentioned there. Uh, error. You can't use it until you've unlocked low two. Cause that's the thing. If we look back in this menu here, and bum ba dum. If we were going to install the moves, we could. But there's slightly water around the bill. There are higher tiers we can unlock. As we use the moves, we will unlock XP towards learning the next level of thing. So basically, as you unlock them, you'll then uh get more powerful techniques from it. So in this case. What's uh, what's the what's the what's what we want to learn for this? Uh, okay, I could just go with water arc, sure. So basically, if I can keep using the move. I would eventually unlock level two water arc. I would need to obviously use a scroll to actually fill and lock it, but I would gain XP, so I had the potential to. Cool. So what I want to know is either use that whole bunch or we use a command, aka the slash avatar abilities. No, sorry, not abilities. That was if you wanted to unlock a new ability. What we want to do is unlock XP. Then we have to type in the move we want. So in this case, it'd be Water Whip. So if I type in Water... Okay, water Arc. Okay, it's Water Arc, not Water Whip, whatever. I know we type in the number we want. So in this case... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this this is different too, I believe. Um, Beforehand, I'm pretty sure you had to put in a value. I was getting ready to do that just there. Uh, No, but if you keep timing on, you can either lock the move again, so you don't have it, or you can set it to what level you want it to be. And importantly, you can set it to be what, the, what, what branch you want to go to. So in this case, though, let's say we do want to take up to level 3. Well, by using the command, we now just have it up to level 3. So, in this case, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, if you click the moves open, look on here, it's level level 3 unlocked. Awesome. So, uh, with unlocking level 2, we have a filler pickup range, bigger water splash, and can draw water from ice and snow. Because normally, if I was in uh, not in creative mode, I wouldn't be able to like summon water out of thin air. So, like, yeah, if I want to take water arc. Okay, I'm saying that, but I'm just summoning it out of thin air. Normally, you couldn't summon it from thin air, though. Normally, you gotta draw it from a source. Like, you know, water. And I, I get I get there's water in air and stuff, but, like, 
Nip you have to be near a water source, it has to be raining, or you have to have a, a particular item on your inventory to carry water in, and bum ba dum. But, okay. In this case, though, I guess we'll just get this then. Uh, but yeah, by upgrading it, though, our attack is now just more powerful and it's gonna fly further, bum ba dum ba dum, whatever it says here. Then when you choose level 4, you get an option. You can, uh, you can basically unlock the XP and then you can get to pick which one you want. So in this case, uh, we wanted to go for either Tidal Lash or we go for Wave Blast. So, Tidal Lash, you get a Water Whip. If we go for Wave Blast, you get a bigger, better, faster, stronger arc. Okay, okay, that's just water. And obviously, you get the water to attach that. But, you know, we're an actual war bed. That means we technically we could go into other areas. A.K.A. there is an element attached to war. Ice. So, yeah, there are sub-bendings attached to this. We've also got combustion, sand bending, ice bending, lightning bending. And, oh, and sand bending, there is. Uh, wait. Combustion, sand, ice, and lightning. Oh, yeah, 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 I was like, wait, there's two in one. Yeah. So, combustion bending and lightning bending stem from fire. Uh, sand bending stems from earth, and ice bending stems from water. Air bending doesn't get anything extra, but air bending is really good on its own anyway, so it's kind of alright. But anyway, so if we right click this, but don't, we've now unlocked ice bending. That's all you have to do, just get an ice scroll. Which, uh, to get these, I, I mean, I guess kill very particular enemies, you might want to unlock an ice scroll? On that, like, maybe, maybe if it's a, a, I don't think any of these ones are craftable. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, none of these ones have crafting recipes, apparently. So, that's good to know. Okay, uh, but, um, so now we've got an extra little saw here. We've now got ice bending. So, we've got two ice moves. I have a lot of pages for this. These are different. I don't remember these being like this before. But, okay, uh, so now we want to unlock the move. So, take a scroll for ice bending. Uh, in this case, it needs a tier one scroll. But, uh, it also says parent tier, tier four. Okay. Uh, oh, no, partner tier, tier four. Okay, so, that's, that's a new term. I don't think I was there last time I played this. So basically, to unlock the, the use the first move, we need to have tier one ice abilities, but we also need to have tier four water ability unlocked. I guess. Sure, probably, maybe. Okay, so we want to try out ice, ice though. Boom, ba dum. We can attempt ice. So at this point, no, we're on war. This is the point where we use the other control button that popped up before. Boom, ba dum, ba dum. So yeah, there's a uh, switch path, and then there is cycle bending left and right. So switch path. I'm not actually sure what that does. <laughs> I. What, what is Switch Path doing? I'm not entirely sure. Like... Huh. I don't know. Nothing stands to mind from that. Maybe maybe something will be more obvious in a minute uh, when we do other things. But it, if I... Like, it, it's saying Switch Path. Like, the cycle bending. So... So, like, we can cycle around bending. We can click the buttons to cycle between the two bending arts. So in this case, we're on... Um, what are and then over ties. You can also notice every time I switch over, it is actually draining my chi. So... That's the thing, too. Because that little bar of the side there, it fades away over time. But that is our cheat. We have currently have 39 of 62 chi. Every time you unlock a, a, a move or level something up in that, you'll gain a bit more chi. I think the cap is 100. And then there's the extra value next to that. So in this case, the extra value is 12. Basically, that's how much chi I can use before I, can, I need to recharge. So basically, you've got a cap of 62. And you've got 12 that's usable in this moment. And basically, that will slowly recharge. But it... Just quickly show it, basically. So, if we wanted to, we, let's say we wanted to ice prison this thing. There we go. So, by using ice prison, it's using up a bunch of energy. It's dra Every time I use this, though, it's draining, like, four energy. That is draining from the... Or, five energy. It's also uh, leveling up my experience for this as well. And But, um... Yeah, as you can see, basically, I need usable energy in order to use the move. So, not enough cheeks, I never have five energy. So, the, 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 the same number we need to... But, then our actual full-on just... What we have, the nine, the four, blah, 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 that. At this point, we don't have enough, don't have enough cheat period. We have to wait for that to recharge now, to go up to five. And that's slower. Yes? I don't know. I, 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 I don't really know the best way to explain this. Is that you get your, like, your full capacity, but then you've also got your short-term capacity before you're out of breath and you have to wait a second to catch your breath. Sure, let's go with that. Assuming it hasn't changed too much, there is a config where you can alter that. So you can alter it so that the second number is the same as the cap. Meaning, uh, basically, you can just use all your chi and burn it and burns all of it uh, till exhaustion. So, so there's no, I don't think there's any like, downsides to using all your chi. Like, you, you put your chi down to, like, minimum. It doesn't seem to have any negative effects on you. So, I mean, burn away. The only pro problem, obviously, is that you have to wait for it to recharge. So, well, that's why, as you can see, it is taking a long time to recharge. 
Am I gonna be crazy thinking this, or... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure the way to recharge things is to be if you're near your natural elements. So, I'm guessing for firebenders, it'd be being the sun. Uh, for waterbenders, I it's being water. Maybe the moon could affect them too. I, I'd have to check that to see. Actually, we can check that. Flash, time, set, night. But, um, well, the moon is out and it's a full moon. But it's not helping, it's kill. I was I was wondering if the moon would affect is Nah, if we just sit in water, though, that recharges. So, basically, hang out in water and you're much better off as a waterbender. Uh, firebenders, though, like I said, sit in the sun. Earthbenders, be on earth. Airbenders, maybe don't be underground. I don't know, like, or just be in air, which, you know, is everywhere, so. <laughs> be okay. So that's just kind of a basic look at the more basic elements of just what I started with there. So I, I had water. I can, uh, basically unlock moves. I can upgrade the moves. Boom, 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 boom. Certain moves are going to cost higher level scrolls. Getting scrolls kill certain uh, types of animals or mobs, and you'll be able to get those scrolls. You can combine the scrolls to get bigger scrolls. It's, it's pretty much just, yeah, great to get resources, then use your moves a bunch to power them up. And you have some level of, you know, at, at the end, you basically get pick how you want your move to look at the end. So, like, again, yeah, we've got ice one here. And, yeah, the last two moves for this one is Glacier Ice and Frostbite. So, Frostbite, the prisoner continuously takes damage throughout their imprisonment, or Glacier Ice. The ice cannot be melted by the sun or fire branding. So, yeah, because we've got ice, uh, if the sun's out, it will melt quicker. If we're in, I assume, cold places slash at night, then it will melt slower. And if someone uses fire branding, they can melt it. It, it makes logic sense. I believe that's also a thing with sand bending, where sand bending can get blown away by air bending. Okay, so ignoring this chat for a second, just quickly moving away from that stuff, just look at some of the other bits that are in the mod. Uh, just to quickly show, there are these things here, the water skins, they're made from some leather and a tier 2 water scroll, and basically you just take it and you'd fill it with water, so you can cast water bending based skills on the go. Uh, I say that, but then normally it used to be you had to have this for water rock to work. Now, so there you go. Okay, didn't do that before. Oh, that's fun. Also, oh, can you, could you not, could you, could you not do this? Oh, you're gonna be really awkward about this, aren't you, you fecker? You know what, this is a good chance to quickly display this too. Let's say I want this move here. Let's say I want to use it on the fly. There we go, I'll put this on X. Then if I click X, I can activate the move quickly. And still miss because the flippity floppy fecker is moving around the place. Also, your ability's on kill then because there's a small kill then so you can't just spam certain moves. Oh no, now the spider's in there. Go away. Uh oh. I'm FG. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not FG. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. We're fine. <laughs> I think I was just actually in that moment. So, that's fine. Also, my numbers are freaking out. What's happening? Why are they... My numbers shouldn't be doing that. I don't I don't think I should have 21 available. Oh, that's odd. Or wait, hold on. Is it doing it? I've got this thing on. No. I don't know. Anyway, that's new. I never used to drain the water like that. That's awesome, though. I didn't know I could make, make it to those little puddles. So, okay. That was cool. But yeah, these things used to be super, super handy. Uh, I guess maybe you still have to use them now for certain water abilities. But yeah, be, like, maybe the bigger ones. But for whatever reason, yeah, I can use it just with air. So, that might not. Maybe that's not my other meant to be. But whatever. I don't know. Uh, then there's also the bison stuff. Get the bison whistle. Boom, ba It's made from air scroll, diamonds, and the... But, but, I think it's it's basically so you can bound a bison and call over to you. Get bison armor so you can level, you know, defend your bison. So again, air bending scrolls, hay, string. In this case, iron, diamonds. If you want the legendary one, you have to go find it. Uh, rock bison one, you have to go find it. I, 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 I think I remember you still find these things in loot chests. So that was the thing. Uh, we've got the basic bags and saddle. So yeah, if you want to sit on your bison, you get the better bison saddle, which is sort of sturdier. And then we've got the, the sturdy bison saddle, which you'd have to find. Uh, there's the Majestic Bison Saddle, and I mean, these are just getting like this. You've got the, uh, Ostrich, uh, Armor. Cool. Uh, <laughs> it seems weird saying that, the Ostriches are pretty cool in this. And then you've got the Gliders. So, Gliders are basically made from, but the scaffolding, which is made of iron, and the Glider Wing stuff, which is made from leather. Uh, the Gliders are really cool. So, we grab it here. Bum -ba -dum. Obviously, I'm not an airbender, but I can still wear it, and I can still jump, and I can still use it, and you, I mean... It's, it works. <laughs> like, you, you're very you're very flat uh, as you go. Like, you, you very instantly go flat and all that. But, you know, it's, it's very simple. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're using it. You're, you're going flat like that. And blah, blah, blah. I, it works. That's the main thing. I remember the old version of this used to crash on servers when you tried to use it. I haven't tried it on a server with other people to know if it works for sure. But, yeah, okay. If you want to get around the place, you can like that. Cool. 
if you're an airbender, you may be able to really combine some air techniques in order to move around better. But obviously, I'm a waterbender, so I just I can just use it to fly around. It, it's there and it works. That's the main thing. Also, another thing, there's clouds. Apparently, clouds exist up there. And they look like this. If you stand on them, they do a little air effect around you, which is cool. I don't know. I don't remember them being there before, so I thought I was cool that they were there. And yeah, we've got these things. So, we've got the ostrich horse. Ostrich horse is awesome. You can use it to ride on, and it's quite quick. <laughs> it can get around the place pretty cool, and obviously, yeah, you can dress it up in some armor if you fancy it, so... But don't, but don't. But yeah, no, the, the thing, it doesn't move exactly very quick on its own, like on its own to legs just walking, right? It it, you don't imagine it's very quick anyway, just looking at it. But no, once you get on it, it can move with some speed, we don't want to it's got a bit of a setup, there's a bit of a start, but yeah, it is an ostrich, ostrich move quick. <laughs> it makes logical sense. Actually, I suppose it's literally called an ostrich horse. I suppose if you saw that name, you probably would think it can move very quick. But yeah, they, they don't tend to in the other world, so you're not going to have a hard time getting on one or anything. But yeah, I mean, you don't really chain them really, you just sort of wander off, you just sort of jump on, you just sort of ride them. Cool. We've also got Badoo, the Otter Penguin. Uh, these things, you can also ride. You're going to have to go in an icy biome for these things. Also, pretty sure you can kill them for water scrolls and blah blah dum. But yeah, I love these chaps. They look so cool. Uh, you cannot jump with them or anything. You just, you just basically, you just flippity flop around the place themselves. But I like them, I think they're so cool looking. And then and then and then, of course, we've got the bison. So. These feckers used to cause crashes and things. They used to be an issue. I don't know if that's fixed. I'm hoping that's fixed. But bum ba dum. Also, if I remember correctly, is it not apples? Is it apple you guys like? Do you guys like apples? You wanna, you wanna come down and get an apple? Oh, he's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. We were. He's doing something or something. He's, he's getting help from me feeding him all these. Oh, there we go. I think we just made friends with them. I think he's now my buddy. So, yeah, feed them a lot of apples, they become your friends. They'll follow you around. Because they like apples. It's adorable. No, come back. No, 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 no. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's adorable. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, we're going to bound you to this. So, Bison Whistle has not been bound to Bison. Sneak right click to bind it. There we go. So, I'll uh, bound to Bison Whistle. So, now if I click the Bison Whistle. Your bison has stopped following your order around. The bison will get to follow you around. So now the bison should follow me. It may still float around the place, but it should now at least follow me as well. Uh, then we can also stick a uh, saddle on if you want to. And boop -ba -dum. So that's nice. Da -ba 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 -ba. Ah, he's getting away. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a small one, though. I don't... I'm, I'm guessing we can't raid this one because it's small. Because, like, normally you'd be able to right-click and go on them. No, they, that's an even smaller one. I swear these guys used to be bigger. What's happening here? But dum but dum but yeah, uh, flying by uh, flying bisons. You go around mountain areas, you can probably see them all flocking around the place. They're they're great, they're great. Do you, do you know you thought used to be bigger than this? Am I going mad? I don't know. Also, I can't get on you, which I'm very sad about. I swear you spilled a raid on your back. Now, if anyone let me know in the comments, can you not raid these guys in this version? Am I doing something wrong? Let let me know. <laughs> I'm very curious if I saw letting me go on his back because I feel like I should be getting on. Like, what on earth? Oh, he's continuing some quests. I didn't even know I had an animation for that. That's awesome. Also, I'm pretty sure you pick a fight with these guys. They will actually airbend at you. So, that's fun. Oh, yeah, they're generally all going down D-Crafts. I love these things. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. We can't stay. We can't just stay looking at them forever. We need to move on. As tempting as it is, we need to move on. So, okay, that's a bunch of stuff from the base avatar mod. We'll take our uh, look at more of the uh, element stuff in a second. Uh, just a few removes from each of them and bum bum And being the avatar and bum bum uh, Before I know, there's also the avatar add-on mod. Uh, that adds in a whole other part to this. It is mostly adding in weapons and armor. Because, as you saw there, the main avatar mod doesn't have much of that. It mostly just has, yeah, has flying bison. They're awesome. Uh, and it has uh, the, the glider. And then some armor for your animals, but that's kind of it. Uh, this one here, pretty much if you go around, you can find metal or underground. Uh, this stuff. And basically you can use that along with other materials to basically just create tons and tons and tons of armor. So basically, yeah, you get metal ingots uh, by breaking it, and then you can craft that into tons of different weapons. Also, cactus just exists. Yeah, I did about what I expected it to do. But yeah, so there's that. There is copper, which is made from silver, which is made from smelting down iron. Cool. I don't remember what's been there for. There are metal plates. That's just combining four of the iron ones together. There is uh, combining the plates with different coloring to get different, obviously, coloring for different elemental places above them. I know there's just various different parts for different um, 
weapons. So, going random though. Water type stuff. Uh, I love this. It has water type armor. It's got the wolf armor. So, yeah, combine some of the plates together and you get water type armor. And, like, it's pretty decent armor. Like, bum ba dum, it's quickly. Throw this on. There we go. Like, I quite like it. It, it. Like, it helps with the whole, you know, you're, if you're wanting to play Avatar and that, if you're wanting to play the part of being from a certain grip and that, and dum ba dum, then, yeah, you might want to dress up as them. It is mostly just, you know, the armor, obviously. So, there's, there's not, like, you know, the lighter blue uh, clothing or anything like that, at least as far as I know. Uh, there is the swamp bending stuff. That exists. Along with various weapons, like, yeah, the machete, battle club, the boomerang, bum ba dum And then you can also get Sokka's meteor sword. Which, uh, the meteor, you just sort of find it. It's just sort of, it'll be around somewhere, you just sort of find it, and then you go from there. Also, boomerang, you can throw it. Doesn't seem to be coming back, though, but... <laughs> But yeah, weapons in this are, I'd argue they're probably going to be a bit too strong. Like, they are, they are pretty powerful, uh, damage-wise. Like, they're, they're kind of OP. Uh, but, I mean, they look cool. So, and they, they fit, obviously, with the Avatar thing. So, you know, knife, club, also blue, meteor sword, spear thing, battle club, or Sokka's battle club thing, all around the spear thing, some jaw blade thing, okay, blue machete, bum -ba -dum. all very fitting for the water tribe. And obviously then, uh, stuff really is obviously Sokka. And the things he used to use. Now, there's also a shield, but I don't... Did that did actually make it work? <gasps> this is it! I do. Uh, this... You used to have shoes that didn't shoot. <laughs> but now they've changed it. They fixed it. They made it work. Kill, kill, kill. There's also these scrolls. I don't actually know what these do. I just saw that they existed. I don't know why they're here. Whatever. Uh, but, but, oh, I want to quickly check is the... Yeah, that's what you expect for a swamp bender. Excellent. Okay, moving on from there, we get airbending. So, uh, we already saw some of the airbending stuff. Airbending stuff is obviously quite, it's quite light. There's not a lot to it. Uh, because, I mean, yeah, most of the airbenders wore the same outfit. They were monks. They didn't have a lot. They had their staffs, which normally were the gliders. And ba -ba -dum. Uh, it's made from using the yellow uh, plates. Ba -ba -do. I suppose it's just like we're making iron armor. So there's that. And then there's the staff. It's just three sticks for spears, which is just three sticks. So... Yeah, and then you just get a very, it's actually a really good weapon, like, it's, it's 6 damage and 3 attack speed, that's very quick. And then the armor is, like, insanely good. Like, it's, it's like, better than diamond, I believe, so. Yeah, you're, you're it's, it's, it's good armor, it's gonna make you really tough, and I, I guess, may, may, again, maybe it's too strong for, like, the avatar stuff, but it would definitely extend the avatar battles. So, uh, and, I mean, I guess it has to be kind of strong, because the weapons are on the stronger side, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I comparing it to the element attacks... I don't know, like, the element attacks can get kind of strong, especially since you can obviously use a bunch of them at range, and once you power them up through levels, and all, it could be pretty good, so, I don't know, like, it's, I guess it's for, like, everyone can decide for themselves whether they think the armor is a good idea or not, but bum bum but at the very least, if you use things like cosmic armor, if you, even if you don't want to wear this armor for its defense properties, because you think it's too strong, it can still work for the looks. I, st I still, at the very least, would work for the looks. Also, updated air outfit from Legend of Korra. It's, it's all right. It's not really my jam. I prefer the old one. So, Earth Kingdom. This one has some really fun weapons. Also, the Kyoshi Warriors, whatever they're called. What are they called? The K Kyoshi Warriors, not Kyoshi. Uh, so, you get the fun face thing. It's not really for me. It's not really my look, if I'm being honest. I said, though, I will take an Earth outfit. So, I could be a grunt Earth soldier. <laughs> Huzzah! I mean, I guess if the colors were lighter, you could also have Toph's outfit, which I guess would be cool if you could get, like, a... I don't, I, like, this one hasn't been updated in a while, so I don't know if it ever will be again. But, like, if they're gonna add more stuff in, adding in, like, outfits that are more reminiscent of the literal main characters, like, things like the lighter blue outfits for water tribe people, and the lighter earth outfits for things like top and things, that'd be nice, that'd be fun. But anyway, other than that, the whole bunch of weapons for the earth ones, and some of them are pretty damn strong. So, boom, 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 so what we've got, we've got a, a dagger, we've got a nunchaku, we've got a cute, that thing, we've got a, a cut. A comma? Okay, some kind of thing. I uh, get the hook swords, which uh yeah, you get two of these in your hand. That said though, you don't actually like wield them in a uh, in, in in both hands probably. So if you, you can technically wear it with a shield, like it's just it's just for the look. You probably shouldn't wield it with a shield because it makes no sense. But uh, yeah, and it, it, yeah, <laughs> it, it it it's a good attempt. I uh, get the butterfly sword. Eh, all right. The katana. I like this. I think this looks quite nice. And going over here, we've got the Poo Dao, aka Big Spear thing. For the war fans, again, these uh, are wielded in two hands. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we've got the. Whatever this thing is. I I don't really know. The the Quan Kun Ryo Yo. I don't know what that is. Alright. We've got the Ninja. We've got a Kill Sword. 
But it'll go rock glove. Just cover your face with a rock. Because it's earth bending. I need to get a hammer. Nice. Yeah, like some of these weapons can get pretty powerful and bumper them. But um I mean they look cool. So that too. But yeah, that one's like yeah, 9.5 diameter. But it's slower, so Take from that what you will. And but I suppose it, uh, version one point, uh, yeah, I suppose one point twelve. The axes are like nine damage, so I guess yeah, nine's not too big a deal. To be fair though, they're not really the weapons I was thinking of when I said like they're really strong. It's more the really powerful along with the speed. Now, the meteor sword, fair enough, that arguably makes sense to be powerful because it's the meteor sword. But also you get things like yeah, the metal axe, which is nine damage, one speed. I guess that is just an axe, so sure. But I uh, uh, yeah, it's just it's some of the ones like yeah, that one's six point five, and then the attack speed's really quick. It's more what I'm thinking of. It's strong in terms of DPS. Then you go into the firebending stuff. Now, I like some of these outfits. Because, yes, oh, the firebending stuff is, it's, it's, it's my colours. <laughs> I like this stuff. Uh, not, not as big a fan as the ma the mask version. Not really for me. Not really my thing. It's a cool mask. I, I, I prefer wear, wear other helmet without a mask. I said then there's also the blue spirit mask. Also, yeah, the fire nation stuff is made from red plates. So, yeah. Then there's the blue thingy mask. You cannot craft that. But... Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna wear the, the fun blue spirit mask, you can. And as for weapons, yeah, there's one weapon in particular here that's pretty powerful. For that though, bunch of swords. Boom boom, Fire Nation sword. A, 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 a big thick sword. A polearm spear thing. Other speary thing. Twin Dao broadswords, which I believe is Zuko's swords when he was wearing the blue thingy mask. And then we've got this 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 it said axe there. It looks more like a spear again. Whatever. I'm not a weapons expert in both of them. But yeah. Uh, then also, yeah, the G. Big speary thing. Another speary thing. The stiletto. Where is the stiletto? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Uh, I believe these are throwables. Yeah, they are. Both of them. Same as these ones. Throwable nice. These are the ones you can throw. Uh, I've got the twin. No, they're called the Sangu Chab. I I believe they're this list those. Uh, got the poison knife. Okay. And there's this thing. The cannibal. Cannibal does 21 damage. <laughs> but it is very slow. That said, though, if you hit someone with it and you crit with it, you will knacker them. <laughs> I don't know. This is. I, I, the weapon. They're not absurd. The weapons are any means. It's just, yeah, some of them are quite quick for obviously the damage they do, being you know, close to, like, you know, iron and diamond swords and things like that. And then you obviously get ones like this, which are really, really powerful. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it, they look good. I like them. Bum, ba, dum. It, it, you guys can take it or leave it where you think the damage that's all right. I don't know. I, I still think it works because, like, the armor's a bit stronger. And bum, ba, dum, and your bending normally gets quite powerful later on. I think the, the stuff is just quite easy to make is the thing. This less so. This still requires a bit more metal. I think just the armor is quite easy to make given how defensive it is. I think that's the thing that clicks in my brain of, like, this doesn't feel... Like, it costs as much as what it represents armor-wise what you get. <laughs> like, diamond armor, you need to go and look for diamonds. Metal stuff, no, this stuff's everywhere. You get this stuff so easily, and you can make it into armor so easily. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. Either way, it's still a kill mod. It's a kill add-on. Adds some really fun-looking stuff in, and it helps flesh out the uh, avatar world stuff for you a bit. So, I like the mod. That's the avatar add-on mod. Link's down below for it. Also now, quickly looking back at the main avatar mod. The iceberg mod. Let us say we want to change up our elements and stuff. Well, technically, we could go to bending, and we could add or remove. Or in this case, we could just list. So there we go. So rest, at this point, it will list the fact that we are obviously using water bending, ice bending. Bum -bum -bum. If we wanted to, though, yeah, we could use the command to lock it away. And it, yeah, this is obviously using commands for it. There's no way to do it. I, as far as I know, there's no way to be born as the avatar. Or maybe there is. It's just super rare. If it is, though, I've never had it. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to, though, you can go bending. You can go add. You can go your name, and you just click in all. And with that, you unlock all the bendings. Bum ba dum. And now, your bar down here is going to get pretty crowded. And bum ba dum. That said, though, yeah, now my, uh, my cheese now maxed out. So now I have 100 of 100. I guess that's a cap for how much you can use it at a goal is like 21. Which I, I believe it used to be 12, so that's fun. I, li I like that's a bit bigger because that lets you obviously do a bit more moves before you need to like, let yourself recharge a bit. But I, looking here though, we've got air. Here, it's got some push stuff, it's got some jump stuff, it's got some other bits, it's it's just all around really good. We've got some explosion stuff, we've got some earth stuff, we've got some fire stuff, we've got some ice stuff, got some lightning stuff, some sand stuff, and some work stuff. And yeah, as you can see, the uh, main four elements obviously have way more moves than the sub-element stuff has a lot less. So, some of them only have obviously a couple of moves. And yeah, if we go to click to rotate our elements now, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know why it drains our chi... 
doing that though. Like I, I I'm not sure why it's draining our chi every time. Hold on. If I if I what the fuck? Did I did I put a move from water and link it to No, I did I, that's not X. I did! That's why <laughs> That's something you have to be careful of. You could, uh, uh, with obviously there being so many moves, and this is the point where having like move management and button management would be a big thing. There's a lot of moves here, more than what you necessarily have for buttons. You have to pick your favorite moves and then decide how many buttons you're comfortable using above them. Being an avatar is rough. <laughs> I'll tell you below, yeah, you can click F and you can just rotate uh, your element and build them. And click F and open up your new element and build them. So, yeah, you, you, can, you can make it work. And, like, yeah, I love these bars and how they look. I like the little sound effects you get. For them, because they're all obviously fitting on the elements. Both them. So, yeah, that's really fun. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I am back down to twelve energy again. Okay, what I'm going to do really quick though is just trying out some of the moves. Both them. Um, I could technically use the button here and just try and launch them. It kind of works. <laughs> I am missing though. Is the only thing. Uh, I've also got yeah, lightning arc. I believe is that is just yeah. There we go. There's a big lightning this. Ba boom. I missed though. I'm not very accurate with it. That's a shame. Earth. No, that's not. It's sand. Hold on. Sand. Ba dum ba dum. So sand's not going to work too well because we're not on sand to use sand prison. So there's that. I said you can use sand storm. And if you level that up, it can get pretty powerful. So there's that. We've got. That's water. Air. Here's one of my favorite ones. Air get air gas. That just lets you push things. But you level up, you can make it into a pulling motion. Or, yeah, you can just make it a really strong pushing motion. And build them. Air jump, though. This is one of my favorite ones. This gives you, gives you a, a big jump. And then at higher levels, it gives you a really big jump. And I, it's just one of my favorite ones to have on. Like, if I play air, that's definitely something I'm using. Air blades, they are pretty powerful. They they can do quite a bit of damage if you level them up. Build them. And, yeah, uh, the, the mods... It used to have very different effects. I'm quite liking the new effects for all this. Get cloud burst. Just sends a solid clump of cloud at someone, you know? Bum ba dum. Uh, we've got air bubble. I like this move too. So this is a defensive move. Right now it's quite weak. If you level up, you'll get way more points. You can make it bigger. You can make it so you hover slightly over the water. And bum ba dum. Uh, you can't attack while you're in the air bubble, but it is defensive. It will help block things. It'll give you a slight jump boost. And... I, I, it, it's just a really fun move. Here's easily my favorite element. Uh, in terms of actually just all the things you get to do. Also, no, I just rotated out of it. God damn it. Okay. We also got cloud burst. That's pretty much just setting up a burst of cloud from around you. I have a good slipstream. That lets you run a bit quicker. Again, these are all things that I can level up to get a lot better as time goes. I've got explosion release or combustion release. With that, you can use, obviously, combustion to make things explode. I believe you kind of have to look at a block for it and uh obviously leveling up it can get make the explosions much bigger but uh, there is that there is explosion pillar which just sends out a string of explosions cool again it'll, it'll, it'll go higher much higher tier the same goes got earth control unless you just summon a brick you can throw the brick it'll go a little distance brick will go much further obviously if you have higher level of control and bump them get main blocks look at the blocks you want to mine It'll mine them. Only does one to now. Level up will do a lot more. Ravine. This is a fun one. This one. I I, I think this one looks quite cool. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it just causes like a little mini kind of earthquake in our direction. Blah, blah, blah. I think, well, it can create a ravine layer. You can destroy blocks if you want to. Wall. Okay, so that's not very impressive though. Okay. Let's power up wall. I want to try that one again. So we're going to use earth wall. There we go. Much more impressive wall. And if we go into our menu thing here, we look at wall. Walls, well, I, I, I like the earth wall. There, oh, I've just always liked it. There's the earth wall there. Uh, option for earth wall. Crash and smash. Create a massive wall and shoot pieces of it. <laughs> so basically, you can just summon that wall and then punch parts of it out. Sounds awesome. Or surround yourself by walls and push your enemies away with them. So basically, you go offensive wall or defensive wall, which just sounds awesome. Uh, but in our case, sure, let's go for, for one. But dumb. So now if we use earth wall. Oh. It's something big, whoa. No. Oh, yeah. It's literally... Okay, yeah, it's, sh it's shooting. <laughs> Moving along, we've got fire. Uh, fire is going to some really basic stuff, like fire shots, get flame strength, so you can punch fire out, you get flame summer, so you can hold, right-click, 
shit fire ever. And obviously, it can be way more impressive with Tango's. You get Flame Guide. That used to be like the fact that air jump, but it's this is a fire version of it. Could hurt people as it with fire. Now it's like a glide. So basically, you click it and you basically glide along, much like the air glider does for you. But obviously, you know, you use, you use the fire for it, and you can obviously have it effects so it can like burn people and bump them as you go around. But there is one move in particular. Yeah, there it is the fireball. It creates a fireball. I like the look of the fireball. Fireball looks cool. Something else we can do though. Fireball. We're going to go for 4-1. Now by clicking to use fireball. We can do it again. We can create two fireballs. And we can go again. We can create three fireballs. And that, that's kind of it. Uh, basically, yeah, by living this one, you can create several fireballs that you can then fire out. And obviously, if you're tying this up button, you can just like summon them very quickly. And then go blah, blah, blah. And I believe you can do this with Earth as well. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I like this. You can do Earth Control. I believe they used to spin as well, but okay, now they're not so, so much spinning. That's a shame, but yeah, uh, you can basically just grab multiple bricks and toss multiple bricks around and bump them. Also, apparently that block just kind of boomerang back there. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, because I made a higher tier ability, I kind of uh, boomerang blocks back. Because otherwise you'd have to keep picking up the Earth blocks and bump them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's just a quick little gander at some of the moves and some of the effects and stuff you can get. And, uh, yeah, there's like, some really cool bits there. Yeah, obviously, it take a lot longer just to go through everything individually, leveling up to max, and try each individual move and things. I probably could that as a separate thing at some point, but I don't want this video to be, like, an hour long. So, yeah, we're just going to take a quick gander at the moves today. And, as you can see, yeah, they're pretty cool. I quite like them. And, boom, boom, boom. and yeah, it looks like from the update, all the stuff's now working. It's not crashing. And, boom, boom, boom. I need to try on a server to know for sure, because the mod obviously had a couple of issues with, like, server crashes and... Base lab, but uh, yeah, a lot of the recent updates have been fixing crashes. So hopefully the mod is now good to go. Because uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a while since I've played the Avatar mod. I'm, I'm quite interested in playing it some more in the future at some point. There's a mod to get brought with some folk, and boom, but it's, it's never started thinking about it again. But yeah, it's got some awesome effects. Got a nice add on mod, boom, but boom. This is the Avatar mod. It's for 1.12.2. I quite like it. Links down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, that's all that. That's it for this little mod review though. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Let us know what you think. What else sort of stuff would you let us see guys then if the mod ever does update again? I don't know. It's been like a year since it updated. So I... who knows what's happening. But hopefully they do up or update it more and add more things in. Because this is really cool. Also, I just remembered actually. I'm saying we're done. Oh, there are two other things. Hold on. There's, the, there's these two. I forgot about them. <laughs> these two so many villages. They are, they're, they are, they're, they're shops. You can buy things off them. And boom, but dumb. You buy scrolls off them and bits for like emeralds and other things. So, very briefly mentioning them because I completely forgot about them. But there you go. Anyway, that's the Avatar mod. Thank you all very much for watching this little mod video. Uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed. Links down below if you want to check out again. It's 1.12.2. It's awesome. It's got some fun Avatar bits. The two mods will be there. We've got Avatar out of the iceberg and we've got Avatar add on mod. So, yeah. Uh, but on that note, thank you for watching. See you next time for whatever Minecraft mod review thing we just end up doing next. Go buy it from Buddy. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the joining members Sebastian Ramsey and Alks, and our Anbu member Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Better, better, better.